uh, it's Tuesday and we're in a marina. That is because we've got a sea trial for the boat tomorrow. A sea trial and survey and stuff, I'm pretty sure. Getting real, we're still on the boat. We've just cleaned all the teak and all the decks and we've fully cleaned the whole boat. So I thought it might be a good idea to maybe do a bit of a boat tour. So, I guess I'm gonna do a boat tour. I'm gonna try and sound professional, but I'm not. We have got the Fontaine Peugeot Helia 44. The first one of its kind ever made. Uh, so that's a marina and we've got someone on board. Okay, we've got some new davits which hold up the dinghy. So those are custom, but not, not with the boat. So they are great and we've got our big 3.4 meter, 20 horsepower dinghy engine. And we've got our engine rooms, just here, we've got our engine rooms with our engine, all our batteries, and everything like that. Moving on, we have got the, the deck. So, up on deck's not too, not too amazing. But, I mean, it is amazing, but the standard boat deck. We've got all our hatches and our dolphin seats and we've got our generator generator locker down there with our Japan 8000 generator and we've got our head sail mount and our bow sprit with our uh, Jenica Halyard on it at the moment yeah and then in this one we have the anchor locker, we've got our windlass and all our anchor. We also keep some fenders and stuff in there. So, yep. Yeah. Then on this side, pretty much the same. In this, in this one, we have got our the big blue bag there is our red sail. And we've got a whole bunch of other random ropes and stuff. So, and cleaning stuff. So yeah, that's that side. And then on this side, we've got all our skateboards, surfboards, dive gear, and all that kind of stuff. Now, moving up to, up here on the top deck, we have got our cocktail area is what it's called. We've got our windows down to the main area. And we've got our solar panels and our boom. And we've got our mast just there. Back down here, we have our helm station. We have got our chart uh, oh, there, and here. all of the well, instruments and the wind and stuff. We also have all our engines and stuff. We've got our throw controls and a compass. And a Ford, where all the ropes are just here. We've got all our lines, including our main halyard, our reefing lines, our main sheets, and the travel lines and all that kind of stuff. Moving down into the main chill out area. We've got our locker under here, a locker under there, and our gas locker under there. It's really just where we chill out on passage and stuff. We also, not factory, we install it. We've got even a little scuba tank locker. Okay, so coming inside, we have got a freezer there, and we've got another cupboard just here, and another cupboard there. But in the middle here, we've got our 
big couch with our table which we normally eat dinner on and I <laughs> really enjoy it because it's comfy and I fall asleep on it very easily but yeah here is the galley it's a L shaped galley so when you're on passage you can't fall over because these two things are blocking you and you've got a freezer down there and a bunch of cupboards here and we've got a three element gas cooker, I would say. We've got an oven there and some spices and stuff like that here. And then we also have our nav station with our iPad and navigation stuff. And it's great because you can see out the window when you're plotting your course and stuff. And we also have our TV up there with because it works really well with our high speed internet we can also play Fortnite and watch TV we don't have we just use like Netflix and Apple TV not satellite channels because we do not have a satellite for that but yeah this is our living area But yeah, we've got all our switchboard stuff down here. And then down on the port side, it's my room. We've got, I've got this big cupboard here with two shelves. Here I've just got a little coat rail kind of thing with just a whole bunch of shirts. And then we've got at my bed. And yeah. Pretty much all we've got a big bed, it's a bit messy right now, but we've got a big place underneath. The reason it's messy is because we've got our sea trial today. It's actually changed today throughout this thing. Then this is my bathroom. Uh, I've got a toilet and a sink. And even a little a big shower, it's pretty nice. I've got that little area there, a cabinet in there. All right, here's Judy's room. She's got a big bed, window up there, window up there, storage in these two cupboards here. And then she's got another thing up there and a little escape hatch window and more clothes <laughs> in that hatch to the front locker with the sail and the cleaning stuff in it. starboard hall we have forgot our spare room in the hallway we've got another little food storage cupboard and in here we have got our spare room we keep a few tools and stuff on the ground there we all of us have all our stuff there's also a uh, escape hatch there and two windows there and then bathroom pretty much identical except they don't have a shower they have a Washing machine. But yeah, it's pretty much all the same. And back over here to mum and dad's cabin, they've got four different ones. And their bathroom is identical to my one. They've got their big thing under the bed as well. We've got all rooms. We've got air conditioning and. We also got the big one on the back. Yeah, that's pretty much my home. <laughs> All right, so it is about 5.30 now. And we have finished our sea trial and survey. Everyone's just leaving all the bios and stuff. I'm not gonna film them too much because I haven't asked if they'll let me in on the camera. But um, yeah, it's been good. It's pretty good. Sea trial was great. We did a few taps and stuff. I had to learn how to use the emergency tiller. Hello, uh, it's Thursday, and this video is going to be about 10 minutes long. So it's like double the length of most of my videos. It's a long video, but it's a boat tour. And if you look up boat tours, most of them are around that long. Uh, this video is finished. I will see you next time on Friday. 
And uh, if you enjoyed it, and like or you don't want to, you don't have to. But I would appreciate it if you subscribed and helped me to my goal of 4,000 subscribers. And I will see you next time.